y Mario. Power up mushrooms, one of mushrooms, Bowser, Goomba, Toad, we have Mario, Luigi, Princess Toadstool, Bullet Bills, Chomp Chomps and everyone else. This is Mario Mondays, I am Retro Flea, I'm gonna be taking you around the Mario universe every single Monday in a new episode. So as Mario would have said, here we go! Hello my little Mario lovers, this is Retro Flea and I'm back with the third episode of my Mario Monday series here on YouTube. And as you can see, I'm playing Super Mario Brothers 3 today, and this is probably one of the best games I've ever played. It uh, started up the whole level selection thingy, and uh, we got a whole bunch more power-ups and everything. So before I go into that, I'm gonna give you some background information about the game. So this is a platform adventure game for the Famicom and NES, and is officially the third installment in the Super Mario Brothers series. It was released in Japan in 1988, in North America in 1990, and in Europe and Australia in 1991. And it was later released in the US on the Wii's Virtual Console in 2007 and 3DS Virtual Console in 2013. It was also remade for the 1993 SNES compilation game Super Mario All-Stars and for the Game Boy Advance in 2003 and Super Mario Advance 4 Super Mario Bros. 3, the final installment of the Super Mario Advance series. It was also released as a reward that Club Nintendo users could purchase with their coins for the Wii Virtual Console on June 3rd, 2013. So it has been considered one of the greatest games of all time. Its complexity and challenging levels made it a huge success. In addition to new power-ups, it features new moves, items and enemies. It also features special non-level parts of each world, including toad houses, where items can be obtained, and spade panels, where lives can be obtained, as well as some secret parts such as the white toad house and the treasure ship. The game introduces six new power-ups, the Super Leaf, the Tanuka Suit, the P-Wing, the Frog Suit, the Hammer Suit and Goomba Shoe. Uh, shortly after the release of the game, a cartoon named The Adventure of Super Mario Bros. 3 was made. The cartoon was based on the game, but with a different plot. In the cartoons, King Copa and the Copalings try to take over the real world as well as Mushroom Kingdom. The cartoon series is produced by DIC Entertainment Productions in association with Nintendo. So that was a bit of a background story. and. Uh, here is the real story about the game. Bowser has returned to the Mushroom Kingdom and now with the help of seven Copelings he tries to conquer it again. So he sends his Copelings, which are named Larry, Roy, Lemmy, Wendy, Iggy, Morton and Ludwig into seven parts of Mushroom's world to steal the Mushroom King's magic wands. And with wands they transform the kings into various creatures. Princess Peach sends Mario and Luigi to go and stop the Copeling. At the end of each world, Mario and Luigi fight one of the Copelings, and after the match is over, retrieve the wand from the Copeling to turn the king back to normal. While the brother are out on their adventure, Bowser kidnaps Princess Peach as usual and takes her to his lair in Darkland. The brothers go to Darkland and fight Bowser. After defeating Bowser, they save Princess Peach and all return to the Mushroom Kingdom, and everything is all cotton and unicorns. So. Super Mario Bros. 3 is the first Super Mario game to include an overworld, a feature that's been carried over into every subsequent title in the series. Like Super Mario Bros., the game features 8 total worlds spread out across 8 different maps, each one featuring a different name, theme, a boss, and uh, the inclusion of thematic worlds would also be carried over into future titles in the series. So, World 1 is Grassland, then we have Desert Hill, then we have Oceanside, then we have Big Island, then we have Skyland, Iceland, Pipe Maze and Castle of Copa. And then we have a World 9, and that's a Warp Zone. So then we have the gameplay. We have some transformations made to Mario. He starts out at small Mario, as usual, and is the weakest form used when a new game begins. So it, if Mario touches an enemy while in this form, he loses a life. Then we have Super Mario, which he gets when he eats a mushroom. Then we have Fire Mario. He eats a fire flower and Raccoon Mario, that's a new one and uh, you get a Super Leaf and he will transform into Raccoon Mario. So he can spin his tail to attack most enemies and he can also fly for a short period of time after gaining enough speed. Then we have Tanuki Suit which is basically the same thing as uh, the Raccoon Mario but he can turn into a statue for a short amount of time. And then we have the P-Wing. And he looks and behaves similar to Raccoon Suit, but includes a large P on Mario's chest and allows for indefinite flight. So that's basically, you can skip an entire level, just fly. And then we have Frog Mario, he will turn a frog. 
and he swims much easier <laughs> but uh, while on land <laughs> you basically can't move it's really hard then we have hammer mario he obtains a hammer suit and he can throw hammers and whatever and he can shield himself from fireballs by using his shell but he cannot slide downhill and that's a sliding downhill is a pretty good attack form actually so, and then we have the original starman and he's invisible so Another object is the Goomba Shoe, and you can only obtain this in World 5-3 of this game. And uh, this object allows Mario to safely hop over dangerous objects and jump on spike enemies such as Piranha Plant and Spinies. And then we have a whole heap of uh, enemies, and I'm not gonna go into this because that would take forever. But there are a lot of enemies in this game. So anyway, you can play two players in this game, but it's uh, as usual there's no cooperation. But it's a form of cooperation because you, when Mario finished the first map, then Luigi can finish the second, and so on. So it's not like you have to play each and every level if you're playing two players. So anyway, player one is Mario as usual, and player two is Luigi little siblings. Uh, after one brother completes a level or loses life, the other brother plays. And uh, if one brother picks a level that the other brother completed, they enter a versus mode in their small forms. And some versus mode stages are similar to Mario Brothers. The player that defeats three of five enemies or survives wins. And the enemies to defeat are spinies, sidesteppers and fighter flies. But defeating a fireball does not count. Player can indirectly kill each other by forcing the rival to collide with an enemy to gain victory. So this is basically uh, the first. You can say it's the it's the preview of Super Smash Bros. Melee. They probably got some few ideas with this game to to Super Mario Bros. Melee. I can't even English. I'm sorry. And players can also steal roulette box cards from each other by bumping from below. So that's pretty much it for my third episode in this Mario Monday series. I want to thank all, each and every one of you for your awesome support and the fact that you keep liking my videos, keep commenting and everything, that really helps me out because it feels like I do something right. And if you have any suggestions on how I could do better or something that would help me out, please let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, next week I'll be going home to Sweden to my mom and dad's for almost an entire week. So me and my girlfriend are flying over and it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. I'm gonna eat so many damn Easter eggs and I'm gonna eat so much candy that I'm gonna puke. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep on uploading this series. I'm gonna upload the third episode in my Let's Play suit or Let's Play Punch Out. Uh, we are taking on the big guys right now. It's gonna be Soda Popinski, Mr. Sandman, and eventually we are gonna take on Mike Tyson himself. So, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you watch the other two episodes in this series, and I guess I see you guys in my next video. So, yeah, goodbye. Retro Flea is out. Thank you.